Hey everybody, old comic collector back again with a different kind of video this week. Been digging in my short boxes uh, to see what I've picked up over the last few years when I got back into collecting. As you can see from the title of the video, we're going to go through an A to Z of what I've got in those boxes, or indeed an A to Z if you're from across the pond. So we're going to start off with some A books today. Got a pile. Let's see what we got. All these books were picked up in 2020, apart from one. I'll point that one out when we get to it. And I'll give you the costs and the grades I think they are as we go along. As per usual, these are all speculation books. Connected to Disney Plus, MCU movies coming up in the future or maybe possibly in the future because a lot of this is wild speculation. First one, this is Age of Ultron 10. This is the first appearance of Angela in Marvel Comics. And of course, Angela was originally a creation that appeared in Spawn number nine. And on the back of that, I think she was originally created by Neil Gaiman. It wasn't a Todd McFarlane creation in the Spawn books. And I think there was a bit of to in and fro in between the two creators there that were fighting over it. And I think in the end, Neil Gaiman sold the rights to Marvel. So this is her first appearance. Um, I think she could possibly crop up in something in the near future. Got this one back in August 2020, paid four pounds for it, so nice cheap pickup. And I think that's around a 9.4, could be higher. This one hasn't been cleaned or pressed yet by me, but could well be higher than that. Could actually hit a 9.8 if we're lucky. And the next one, all new Wolverine number one, X23 in her first ongoing series. Again, could be way down the line, but she, she could appear in a Marvel-related show or movie. Obviously, we've got to have Wolverine introduced first, you would think, before we even got to X-23. Yes, we've seen her in, in Logan in the Fox movie, so theoretically she's already in the MCU. Now we've got everything merging together with the multiverse. Could be a great character for her own show, her own series. Pick this one back in June 20. Six pounds. And I think that is a easy 9.6, possibly a 9.8. Really sharp looking book. Next one, we've got two of these to show. Alpha Flight number one. I think you may have seen these in some of my other comic book hauls. I've got a few of these. Showing you the two, two best ones. I think this one's around a 9.4. This one, if I'm very lucky, could actually hit 9.6. This is a double sized book, so can suffer from a few ticks, but these look okay. Canadian Super Team, created to fight the X-Men. First appearance in X-Men 120 uh, as a cameo, then a full appearance in 121. Um, but then uh, John Byrne, co-creator with Chris Claremont, kicked off their own ongoing series in a dynamic double sized issue. Um, even though the Feather Team first appeared in uh, 121 21, there are two first appearances in this one, which is Marina and Puck. That's their first appearances. I think Puck is a definite. If Alpha Flight comes to the screen, he'll be coming along. And quite possibly Marina, if we get Submariner at some point, would be good. Got these back in October 20. Paid 30 and 32 pounds for both of these, so not a lot of difference. As I say, hopefully a 9.4 and a 9.6, which that one may well push to a 9.8. It'd be great to get that in a 9.8. £32 is nothing for that book in a high grade. Let's see how he goes. Creeping through the A's. Amazing Fantasy, number 15. Not that one, but the 2006 version. Now this is the first appearance of Amadeus Cho went on to become a totally awesome Hulk. Interesting character again, 
could be coming to the MCU down the line. Once we've had enough of the original Hulk, we could get the totally awesome one. Again, got a couple of these. Got this one back in September 20. Not a cheap book, £112 for that one. This one has been pressed and I'm hoping it's around the 9.4. Again, on a good day, could go higher. There is a definite, uh, if you can see it in the bag, there's a definite tick there on the corner. There he is. So he will not be a 9.8, but fingers crossed for at least a 9.4 on that. It's a big book. Who have we got now? A bit of Spider-Man love. Can't go through the A's without Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 34. This is really just a great uh, Craven cover. I think it's a second appearance as well. This is a Pence copy, as you can see. So um, obviously his first appearance in ASM 15 is going through the roof. So this could be another option. We know he is coming to a movie. Sony's doing a movie with Craven. Whether that's going to cross over at any stage with Spider-Man himself is yet to be seen. Again, got this in September 20. Grade 42 pound. He's had a clean and a press, and I think it's around a 6.0. So very much a mid-grade book. But nice pickup. ASM 365, jumping forward in time. And the lovely hologram cover that were all over these books in the 90s. First appearance, if you like, of Spider-Man 2099. I think that's what the market dictates. Well, his uh, first full appearance, the full story, is in Spider-Man 2099, number one. But uh, this gives a preview of that book, of that story. This is a really hard book to get in high grade. Um, it's, it's, it's a really thick book. I think it's probably triple sized more than double sized. And of course you've got the lovely black cover on this one. Of course we've got Across the Spider-Verse coming up. We know Spider-Man 2099 is in that one. Will he be coming to live action? Quite possibly down the line. Got this in April 2020. Paid £10 for that. And I think it's around a 9 now if we're lucky. Not high, high grade. Looking at the edge on that doesn't look too bad. I've harshly graded that. Can't press these because of the hologram. But, uh, it doesn't look too bad, so maybe a little bit higher if we're lucky. Annihilation. Number one. No first appearances in this. It's just a great storyline. A very cosmic storyline, which we may be getting down the line. Uh, with Annihilus taking on some of the more cosmic heroes like Nova, uh, Moon Dragon, Silver Surfer, etc. Got that back in July for £6. And it's probably around 9294. Could the Annihilation storyline be coming down the line? Let me know in the comments if you think it is. Three to go. Astonishing Outman, number six. Stature appears in this and actually gets a new costume and a new name, Stinger. Now we haven't actually seen Stature yet. Could be coming in Ant-Man 3, Quantumania. Um, the actress is already confirmed for that one. Now I, I think she'll probably be called Stature. Probably be part of the Young Avengers they're putting together. So uh, we won't be seeing Stinger anytime soon, but you know, could be. Could be down the line. A possible. Got this one in July. 20 for seven pounds and it's at least a nine four probably higher than that nine four nine six i'd say on that one watch out for stature i love the cover too great cover i do like it when they mix up the uh, trade dress on these covers <coughs> avenging spider-man number nine that's when carol danvers Became the new Captain Marvel. Well, a huge book, not her first appearance, of course, but uh, she's coming back in the Marvels later down the line. Could be a good book to have. Got this one in August, £49, so not a cheap book, this one. This one has been pressed, and I think it's around a 9.0. 
not high, high grade for a modern-ish book. But, um, look out for that one. And last but not least, a bit of a big boy book. Avengers number eight. First appearance of Kang. We've seen a version of Kang already. And we know, again, we know he's coming in from Quantum Mania next year. These have really gone up. They've probably settled down a little bit now. Got this one in April 21. And I got a couple before that, so this was a later one. So this is a higher price than the other two. I've got £491 for that. Um, he has been cleaned. He has been pressed. This was a very, very dirty cover. Looks a lot better than it did then. Hoping that's around a four or five, which is quite an expensive book, but it's one of the more affordable ones. I always think if you've got higher grades on these, that the price is really, they almost price themselves out. So I do like a mid-grade book. Nice Silver Age key. First appearance of Kang. There we go. There's a run through some A's. Well, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Next week we'll be doing some B's or possibly another comic book haul. So look out for that. I have got two, uh, two submissions at CGC, so waiting for those to crawl their way back to the UK. So it could be those as well. Leave a like on your way out. Subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks for watching. And as usual, I'll see you on the next video. I've been the old comic collector. Take care. See you soon.